You don't want no smoke, kitty cat. Hey, back up. It got the bullet holes in it. Check it out. There's a marijuana dispensary next to us. Behind the scenes. <clears throat> me, 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 me. It looks like a little miniature castle. You see it? Decline. It was for about several miles. It was super steep. The brakes went out. Looking out the window, and that's all you see. We're going through a desert storm, yo. Check her out. Look at her. Look at her running from the scene of the crime. Look at her. Look at her. Look at the look on her face. Look at this. The Eiffel Tower. That's dope. Sauce in it. Then we got a little bacon. Dirt life. Dirt life. So now y'all want to know why my hands are dirty? We stuck on the side of the road. Yo. Had to separate the trailer. The small car over there. The small car was stuck. I All right, y'all, right now we're leaving Hobbs. We're leaving Hobbs, New Mexico, and we're on our way to guess where, guess where, guess where? Roswell. And if you know about Roswell, or at least as much as I do, that's where the... It is a dimension as vast as space and as timeless as infinity. That's where the otherworldly creatures, the aliens, and we're not talking about the ones that's crossing the border, but we're talking about the ones from other worlds. Yo guys, guess where we're at? We're in Roswell! We're in Roswell, New Mexico, yo. It was so cool coming down here because even though it was nighttime, there was a ton of alien-related sculptures, statues, all types of alien stuff everywhere. We're out here at a Walmart. All right, y'all. So we're about to drive around Roswell. We're gonna check out Roswell, New Mexico, see what it looks like. It's a driving tour, and I'm thinking of doing a walking tour. I definitely wanna do a walking tour. Check out this space rock from outer space. Wow, it's like kryptonite. That's kryptonite, Superman. Little souvenir for the old hometown. Say, no, I'm kidding, guys. I think this is just ice. <laughs> That's how cold it is out here. It's icy. That is neat. Look at the lantern. You see up there, I don't know if y'all can see it, but the lantern looks like an alien head. If you guys like Baskin Robbins or even Dunkin' Donuts, there's a gigantic alien. They got like several aliens out here, guys. That's neat. Not only does it have an alien, that's a gift shop. Souvenir store, it's called Invasion Station. They have a, uh, a UFO. That is cool, with two little aliens next to it. Directly in front of us, you have one of the black New Mexico license plates with hot peppers. Yeah, bro, he's eating! And since he's so tiny, I only gave him a half of the half of the pouch. That's a tough picture, ladies and gentlemen. It says Roswell Trading Company. Look at it in its entirety. Look at that little eye creature. You see that little eye creature? Yo, we got a bunch of cats over here. Yo, cat, you better back up, kitty cat. You don't want no smoke, kitty cat. Hey, back up. Back up, young boy. Back up. What you think, you a gangster Mexican cat? See how that cat came at us? What you think, you tough? I'm doing everything I can to keep Jersey under control. We're leaving Roswell, New Mexico. We got a chance to do some tours in the area, walk down Main Street. Saw a lot of cool alien objects, but now we're on our way to Albuquerque. That's a really nice view. Some simple spaghetti. We got some plant-based Italian sausage, sliced in angles, some seasoning onions, oregano, some French green beans. Just a simple two-course meal.
Oh, what's up, y'all? <laughs> y'all watching me? There's no point trying to explain it, but a lot of strange things have been happening. Definitely being followed. It's too early in the morning. Why y'all in here? Yeah, listen, I've been out since the AM. Been converting footage for 360 tour. I'm making some pancakes. I'm gonna make Omi some breakfast in bed. Shh. Don't tell no one. Then I'm gonna clean up. Just prepare. We're over here in New Mexico. You already know. All right, guys, so we just spent the night over here in Albuquerque. Before we go and do these Albuquerque tours, I'm trying to do my best to use a little bit of window cleaner and a microfiber cleaner cloth. Wax on, right hand. Wax off, left hand. So y'all can have a clear view. Check that out, guys. Yo, we thought it was gonna be a short skyline. It was like, ah, it's gonna be a little town. And look it, they got a few high-rise buildings. About to get this Albuquerque downtown tour popping behind the scenes. <coughs> me, 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 me. Greetings, fellow Earthlings and viewers across the World Wide Web. This is Tune 215. And right now, we're in the state of New Mexico. We're in the city of Albuquerque. We're gonna be doing a driving tour of downtown Albuquerque. We have an awesome mural on my left-hand side on the building called Gravity Bound Brewing Company. You see that building over there? Look at the crown work. Look at the rooftop. Look at the design. Casitas de colores. Houses of color. We see a Somos Unidos mural. It looks pretty cool. I see a bunch of people. They're probably natives of New Mexico. We got another electric vehicle parked over here. I see they got several electric vehicle charging stations in downtown. Right in front of us, we have a clock tower, and below it says Historic Route 66. We got a nice set of statues out here on my left hand side. We're approaching the Jeras Ave. There's pieces of wood sticking out. They made them like the old style Mexican houses, and they're stucco. They use cement to finish it. I've never seen a center island painted that way specifically for buses. Passing the Millennium Flats on our left, we're at 11th and Central Ave. This business is called Doghouse. Yo, what do they sell there? Hot dogs? Look at this classic truck. Oh my gosh, the truck is beautiful, dude. Look at that truck on my right hand side. You got Kragers, it's green. That thing is awesome, bro. Look at the top of the poles. There's like a, a design on each one of those pieces of metal. It's like a sheet of metal. We got El Rey liquors on our right hand side. It looks like a theater. We got Sushi Hana on our left. We are at an avenue with a bunch of businesses. Look at this on our right. Yo, this is made out of doors? Yo, that's hot. That's made out of car doors. Yo, that's made out of car doors. That is is neat. Y'all see that big structure on my right hand side? That's car doors. Roughly 26 to 30 doors. Yo, that's a cool little design. That's a cool way to repurpose junk. You know what I mean? Oh, snap. That's tough. Hold on. I gotta bust left. Odd looking. Woo! I just took a picture. There's somebody else is taking a picture. Look at that jar right there in front of us. It's like a pickup, but it's like a car. It got super wide radio tires. I'm gonna try to go on the side of it. <laughs> Nice whip, dude. Yeah, he got a rat on the hood. That is a rat ride. Oh, this is the bus station? Yeah, this is the Greyhound bus station. This is another view. And see, it looks so so different. I didn't even see those those giant seas. That's a sea, right? Look at that Mexican. No te preocupen. Speedy Gonzalez se los trae. Oh, snap. He was reporting me out. Shout out to our good friend from New Mexico. She gave us this awesome little doll. I consider it an artifact. It was part of her collection. She wanted to remain anonymous, but I think this is decent. Yeah, thank you very much. Appreciate your support. Show we showing love, man. Show we showing love. Look at that, he's eating the food, a Rottweiler. It looks like a Rottweiler mix. This was an unexpected find. He ate that thing fast. Look at that cemetery. That cemetery is all dust and dirt. This is our second night over here in the Albuquerque area. Check out the plant they have out front of this property. It looks like an aloe plant. It looks like a little exotic plant, you see it? I would say the most ideal thing about the Sandia Heights neighborhood that we're in right now is the beautiful mountain view that you have when you come out of your door. We don't have this type of scenery. We don't have this type of environment. So it's a very refreshing atmosphere. Wow, talking about house on the hill? <laughs> this is the definition of like house on the hill. It's like house on a mountain. I wonder how many people actually climbed the mountain. Then again, there's probably snakes. There's probably poisonous scorpions and things like that, right? It's a pink home with not so much of a flat top, but like an angle rooftop. Look down on their driveway. They have some fancy brickwork. What's happening? We're on our way to Santa Fe, New Mexico.
somebody locked up on the ground, yo. They got him cuffed up. Is it a male or female? It's a female. She's on the ground. They had a female locked up, y'all. Cars over here hit differently, y'all. Look at those two classic cars. They got the bullet holes in it. Wow, this is nice. Look at it with the white wall tires with the steely rims. Dang, this is fire. Look at the steering wheel. Yo, they killed this John. It even got a uh, snake skin. Yo, they got a snake skin interior. Fire. Look at that. The way they look so naturally decayed and rusted. Look at this one over here. Yo, they killing it. Look at the shop. Affordable professional collision repair. Look at that. That job is crazy. Yo. This is Dope. This is in Santa Fe, New Mexico, y'all. I'm making a right-hand turn on West San Francisco, and it looks like we have tourists on my left-hand side. There's a park on my right-hand side with several tiki wooden sculptures. Look, check it out on my right-hand side. You see those wooden sculptures? They're not only carved, oh wow, a woman holding a, a backpack, an angel, and more, but they're painted. Pretty neat statues. It looks like a statue of a horse. This is right here at the art gallery. Look on my right, look on my right, y'all. We're getting a free tour here. Oh my gosh, the experience is so exciting. So many places to do activities. <laughs> Yo, look at this. I feel like I just schemed the system. I'm driving through a museum with my little miniature vehicle. Look at that, what are they? They're um not goats, are they goats? A ram, yeah, Dodge Ram. Durr, you should know that too. Look at a bunny, is that a bunny laying down with his paws up? Yo, there's a bunny right there with his paws up. That's such a cool picture. I kind of want a picture of the bunny. Do you guys mind? Can I get a picture of the bunny? You want to follow me? Follow me on Tune. Be chilling so you guys can see this cool bunny. There's a white cross, you see it? Right on top of the mountain. Who they busting? Oh, they got a little old lady in handcuffs. What was she doing? I said, no, I'm kidding. They're like, yo, dude, for, for real? We just passed Don Gaspar Street. I'm going to take a picture of him. Do you think he'll mind? I'm going to point the camera. I'm going to take a picture of him. Dude, I'm a tourist. I'm a big fan. <laughs> you going to go for real? You ain't no big fan, bro. Cafe Pascal's. Five and Dime on our left. The Chili Shop on our left hand side. Fortune Maki Sushi and Desert Shop on our left hand side. The White Buffalo on our left hand side. That's the, the sign that they're known for. Mexico, that mm -hmm. little circle with the line, yeah, like a cross. cross. Philly, Jersey, Omi. She's hiding her hair, I don't know why, but listen, look at guys. Woke up in Colorado today, and I wanted y'all to see this. Yo, look at that view, look at those mountains. Mountains with snow on top, wow. You know what's even crazier? Check it out, there's a marijuana dispensary next to us, completely legal, as long as you're over 21. We came here so that I could upload, cause I kinda need a day or two to upload, but unfortunately, the internet isn't too great here. So we're actually about to relocate, we're heading to Colorado Springs. Figured I'd show you guys what the environment looking like, you know? We're leaving Trinidad, Colorado. We're headed to the Colorado Springs. The only thing is, is that the Colorado Springs doesn't allow parking, nor does Denver. None of the Walmarts allow parking. And for what I've been reading, even the Cracker Barrels don't allow parking because of the city zoning ordinance. Now, I don't know if you could tell, but New Mexico blew me away. It was awesome. I love the landscapes. I love the environment. And moving forward towards Colorado and getting a chance to see the mountains, but not just regular mountains, but the mountains with snow on top. Oh man, that was neat, guys. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Check this out, we arrived in Monument, Colorado. Made some food, take a look, take a look. We got some plant-based corn dog with some cheese, that white stuff is cheese. And then we got some ketchup. Little shrimply, little french fries on the side. Little shrimplets. It was the leftover from the french fry pack, so. And then over here, I got some little add-on. I want some sauerkraut, salt, pepper. We got the Whataburger ketchup. I've been uploading, I already uploaded a video. I'm trying to get some good internet. We woke up next to the mountains today, y'all, in Monument, Colorado. We're on our way to Colorado Springs. We're about 20 minutes away. Figured do a couple tours, handful of tours.
Greetings fellow Earthlings and viewers across the World Wide Web. This is Tune 215 and right now I'm in the state of Colorado. We are in the city of Colorado Springs. We got Mackenzie's Chop House downtown on my left hand side. The historic Alamo building and a beautiful lowrider driving by on our left. Look at that. Ooh, that joint had Dayton's. It was a Lincoln. It was a stinking Lincoln with some Dayton's. That was nice. We're passing the Gasper Law Group on our left. Great Western Bank on our right. Look at that Porsche up there on the wall, y'all. That's a Porsche. Y'all see it? Wow, that's awesome. This is the Colorado Springs Pioneers Museum. You see it? You see it? It's done with mosaic tiles. Some sort of weapon from a uh, wartime. You see it? This is William J. Palmer High School on our left. It looks like students were coming out. Established in 1956. It looks like a little miniature castle. You see it? That looks so cool. That's a little charming business. Just by the way it looks, it makes you want to eat there. Check out this meal I just made over here in Colorado. Yeah, sounds simple, but sometimes the simple stuff be hitting. French green beans, we got some seasoned potatoes. Then we have some stew with chickpeas, corn, potatoes, onions, garlic seasoning, and all that cool stuff. We got some white rice. Joe gonna be slamming. Spent a night over here in Denver, Colorado. We actually did a lot of uploading. I was able to upload like 12, 13 videos. I still need another 10 more, but at least I ain't got 23 to upload. We're taking advantage because it was real good internet here. Just cleaning up, doing the final cleanups before we leave. Check out the street tram rail car they got that just drove by. It looks like a trolley. Right behind this bus, check out their bus. This is their public transportation. Got some nice tall buildings in front of us. I see the Grand Hyatt. So that building on our right hand side is the 10th Circuit of Court Appeals, or I should say 10th Circuit Court of Appeals. If you look directly in front of us, it looks like there is a stadium. That looks like it's going to be the course field. We're crossing Colfax Ave and Broadway. They have some busts on my right, four busts. Looks like females, maybe. This venue right here on my left hand side, the Black Box presents Free First Friday. Yeah! Robin Williams, when he was younger, we're passing Grant. The Levin Deli on our left. I'm gonna merge left so I can take a picture of this right here. See that shipping container artwork on my left? That's a shipping container. Yo, that's several shipping containers. That's amazing. Wow, look at this alley, guys. This alley is filled with art. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Wow, the magnitude of, of colors. Look, look at the characters. This is neat, y'all. This is a real nice find. An accidental find, as y'all can see. They got Bob Marley painted with a lion. The artist is at underscore crystal with a K. Cook, with an E at the end of cook. Wow, what a nice mural. That's such a neat piece of artwork. The amount of art it's like they embrace it here they crazy with it right in the middle of the street they got the dining tables huh see that building right there in front of us that's where the kid's face was painted you can't see it now because we're going the opposite way but if you go in reverse you can see the kid's face that was probably one of the coolest pieces of artwork i've seen in a long time all right we got the female on my right hand side she's painting her building the ground floor salon that's probably her salon holy smokes this alley is dope wow look at the artwork y'all now these are legal pieces and legal murals all you gotta do is ask for permission some of it is illegal you could tell like the tags on the poles and stuff and not even maybe give or take because they could be out here painting here and then they'll go behind and do some test sprays or on the pole this stuff on the left side a lot of this is legal all you got to do is knock on the door show the business owner your little portfolio of artwork say excuse me ma'am excuse me sir may i please put a mural on the back of your building this is what it could look like show them your portfolio show them your work and a lot of the times they'll agree you see i'm into the arts so seeing all of this inspires me it's a nice area to take pictures you could do like a music video here Yeah. 
This is what it looks like when a neighborhood embraces art. This looks very inviting. Look at that little evil face right here on the pole. Look at this little evil creature right here on the pole. You see him? It kind of look like Freddy Krueger cousin. Why he looks so evil like that? What's his ear say? Stone? the rifle rifle colorado rifle is about three hours away from where we're at now right now we're trying to make our way to utah i think we're all done with colorado we're trying to get to the halfway point we're trying to get to california y'all california is the halfway point then we can start heading back home Silverthorn, Colorado to get some gas. Guess what, guys? Bad news, yo. So we was going down a 7% decline. It was for about several miles. It was super steep. The brakes went out. They didn't go out when we was on the highway, but when we parked up to go get gas, now they're super soft and super spongy. So I'm calling the local auto zone to see if they got the brakes that I need in stock. If they got them in stock, I'm gonna have to buy them and do a brake job here. Some little teeny weeny town. I ain't expect to be doing a brake job today, man. But I'd rather be safe than sorry. All right, so it is a 2000 Ford E450. So that's the Eco line from brakes. How many distance are on this caliber? There's gonna be a two distance. I believe I use the two piston caliper. Only thing I have in stock is going to be a regular Duralast. All right, cool. So I'll just make my way there shortly to pick them up. Thank you. Just to show y'all that I really came to AutoZone on the scooter, y'all. Look at this is the AutoZone out here. It's in the mountains, yo. Yo, it's crazy. This AutoZone over here in the mountains. Now I gotta get back and try and start these before sundown. Give y'all some of this selfie work. Give y'all some of this selfie work. We out here. We next to the mountains, yo. Sometimes life just happens. You can't control what happens to you, but you can control how you react to what happens to you. You just gotta keep moving forward. Don't give up, don't surrender. The brake pads still had meat. They didn't really seem worn, but they do look glazed. It looks like all that heat glazed them. I still got two more new ones I gotta replace. to eat and look up a place to stay because there's no Walmarts nearby. The closest Walmart is an hour and a half away back to Colorado. There's no real big box stores like Home Depot, Lowe's, so we ain't really got a parking lot to stay in, but guess what? We got plenty of mother nature around us. We're gonna stay out in the wilderness. We're gonna be out there boondocking. There's a nice free campsite that's about 30 minutes away from Moab, so we're gonna park at the campsite, boondock there. Tomorrow we'll head out, do some tours before we leave the area. But look outside, look what it looked like.
this RV going right up the mountain. Look at the RV, that boy crazy. Up the mountain, yo. Yeah, look at the cars. Yeah. So nice. Man, Utah is banging. Utah is beautiful. I love the red rocks. Utah was mind blowing. The magnificent views. And then we found this perfect location, the boondock. This has to be one of the best spots we stayed at. There's our food. We're about to eat a little lunch. Made some pasta with some vegetables. Yeah, it's looking lovely. And then this is our lovely view. Check this out. Boondocking. Fantastic view, guys. Looking out the window, that's all you see. Yo, it's our first night over here in Utah, and I want you to see what it looks like on the morning that we stood over here. Look at this. Look at our view out here. Look at those mountains. There's like a hazy fog over the mountains. Beautiful, eh? We're about to head out and tour Moab, Moab, Utah. But look at Walker Drugstore on our left, Moab Adventure Centers on our right. And look again, another picturesque view. Hotel space right here on my right. We got the off-road vehicles on our right-hand side, the Polarises, the RZXs. Look at this bikes over here and everything. I came in here yesterday and I saw this. This mural right here is dope. Poison spider bicycles. Look at that mural. That mural is neat. They got a giant spider chasing cyclists. Greetings from Moab. Ah, look at that. It says greetings from Moab. Moab food truck park. Oh, that's tough. This is tough. I kind of want a picture here. Different food trucks sell different things. Red Rock Chicken, El Goro, El Taco. This is the Hoodoo Gallery. Look at the building. The building looks so like modern with like a retro spin on it. And then he got like the rusted look. This is probably one of the environments where the rusted look works. You know how they be putting the rusted look in Philly and they put the rusted look in all these big downtown areas that I'd be going through tours. I, you know, I do nice neighbors, I do rough areas. How they gentrify an area and they use that, that rustic look. It matches because the whole entire background is that same color. It's, it's brown, it's orange, it's that reddish tone. So that rust look actually looks legit right here. It's like a little metal cutout of two people holding hands. It's a gigantic goat. There's a dog all the way over there, and I want to try to go feed the dog. I hope it's friendly. It's over here near the four corners. It looks like it's an abandoned dog. Here you go. Here you go. Oh, here, here. Oh. Good girl. She looked like she had a litter. Wow, she's out here in the middle of nowhere, guys. This is the mountains. I don't know why in the world there's a stray dog out here. This type of she was able to eat. Look at her. She's eating. It's awesome. We're almost at the four corners, y'all. The four corners of the USA. This is the point where Utah, Colorado, New Mexico, and Arizona all meet at one point. Hey, y'all, I think we driving through like a windstorm, yo. You got tumbleweed on the road. You got desert dust. It's pushing the whole RV. We doing like 39 miles per hour. The speed of is 65. But with this RV, I don't want to hit no 65 with these type of winds. We arrived, y'all. We at the Four Corners. Yo, guys, we just pulled up to the Four Corners monument. Pulling up to the kiosk to make a payment. Hello. Two. Thank you very much. We just made the payment. It was $5 per adult. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I was under the impression that the Four Corners looked a lot different. I didn't know it was an attraction that you had to pay to enter and it was on private property. But all in all, it was cool. We didn't get a chance to spend a long time there because it was very, very windy. I couldn't even use the audio because you couldn't hear anything that we were saying. But as you can see, there was a gentleman taking a photo. He was on all four while his wife snapped the picture. We got a chance to get a little selfie work. Yeah, we got a little selfie work in. It was windy, but we got that selfie work in, you heard? Now let's talk about Arizona. Arizona was phenomenal. It looked otherworldly. I felt like I was on planet Mars. Going through a desert storm, yo. Then we actually went through a desert storm. Like I can literally say that I lived through a desert storm. Man, it was official. This has to be on your bucket list. We're in Page, Arizona, and as y'all can see, Omi got the spoon in her hand because she ready to go. It's been raining over here in Page. Red rice, some chickpeas, some cauliflower, and some sweet and spicy sauce, and pea pods, and some avocado. But look how it's been outside. Look at that. Oh, wow. Y'all can't even see. 
Look how it's been. Really rainy and gloomy day. There goes the trash bandit again. Disposing of trash illegally in a Walmart near you. Boom. She's at it again. Check her out. Look at her. Look at her running from the scene of the crime. Look at her. Look at her. Look at the look on her face. Even the mountains in the background can't hide her mischievousness. Uh -huh. What were you doing, Missy? What were you doing on this morning's vlog? We just gassed up. Put gas over there. Gas tank looking full. Looking like we got a full gas tank. We just filled up on some water because we're right here next to a free dump station and they also allow us to get free water so we filled up our tanks and now we're on the way to las vegas we're entering utah again y'all in order to get to las vegas you gotta pass through utah we were so close to the borderline that it's gonna take us to utah for a little bit and then it'll take us right back into arizona so we can head to nevada Yo, we officially arrived, y'all. We're here, we're here in Las Vegas. Wow, Las Vegas, Nevada. It's incredible because we're at a Walmart and there's so many colorful plants. There's even palm trees in the parking lot. If you look right in front of Walmart, tomorrow I'm probably gonna hit some tours in the area, do some driving tours, do walking tours. And after Arizona, Phoenix, and Mesa, we California pimping. Yeah, we're gonna be mobbing straight up the West Coast. Last night, the Walmart worked out well for us because we didn't get a knock on the door. We woke up extra early this morning because we're used to another time zone. We're like two hours behind. We're like waking up five something a.m. A little longer than a few minutes later. We just went to the car wash. The mirrors are looking clean. The glass is looking clean. The car itself is looking clean. On my left, we have an auto zone. That's one thing that I noticed that does not change as we're traveling the country. We have a minor key car care center. On our right hand side, DMV services, auto insurance. We got a Chevron gas station directly in front of us. We have a Carl's Jr. and we have a McDonald's. So we're passing Fremont. We have a ton of palm trees on our left next to Paul's Auto Service. We got Freddy Reptiles. It looks like a reptile shop on our right. Beauty Salon on our right. We got Antiques of Las Vegas on our left. Casa de Calderon on our right. It looks like there's probably an outlook room up top. We're getting closer to the observatory. Passing Redford Drive. Look at these buildings on my right. Look at the details. We passed the RV on our left. We got California tags directly in front of us. We got the Sahara right there. We're here on Sahara in Paradise. A giant LED display board on the side of that building. That red building is called the Conrad Building. Vegas indoor skydiving advertisement on our right. Silver City Casino on our right. Flyway indoor skydiving. Two young women walking on our right hand side. Fat Tuesdays, a huge LED display in front of us. Wow, I think now we're at the signature strip. Tacos del Pastor on our left. So throughout this journey, I'm going to be naming the obvious and then also calling out the not so obvious, what may not be so obvious to some people. You know, it's common sense to some may not be common to others. Looks like it has a saucer on it. It looks like it has a flying saucer. I'll be completely honest with you guys. We're passing Wind Las Vegas. We got Wind Plaza on our left. Nice murals on our right hand side on the walls. Dick Sporting Goods, Forever 21, Abercrombie, Sugar Factory, Duncan. Plenty and plenty of businesses located in the fashion show building. Las 
lovely palm trees, Ben and Jerry's advertisement on the LED display. On our right, we got Aces of Comedy. We got the Forum Shops. Cathedral on our right, it looks like a, like a palace. Harrah's on our left. Caesar's Palace on our right. We got the sculptures and the statues outside at the Caesar's Palace. We got Gordon Ramsay's Hell's Kitchen on our right. Wow, he has an actual Hell's Kitchen. Wow, look at this, the Eiffel Tower, that's dope. That's fire, they got their own Eiffel Tower. That is fire, look at that on our left. It's not the Eiffel Tower, but it's a replica. Look on our right, on our right hand side. All right guys, we're capturing behind the scenes too, in case you guys can't see on our right. We got Omi in the background, she's capturing it for the Toon Be Chillin' vlog on the Toon Be Chillin' YouTube channel. There's like a horse statue on our right. The rear is like a mermaid. It's like a horse fish. Oh my gosh, the attention to detail it looks so Roman. I'm gonna try to take y'all even closer to the Ferris wheel, y'all. Yeah. That's a cool little attraction they got going on there. It looks like this might be a no outlet, but we got a mural right here in front of us. It says Naked City. We're approaching the 1200 block of Wyatt Ave. We're on L and Wyatt. I'm gonna make this left hand turn. On our left, you'll see a really abstract looking building. It's a really strange, contorted looking building. So Las Vegas City Hall is located on our left hand side. This is Las Vegas City Hall. The Marshall vehicle, Las Vegas police. We got the City of Las Vegas Municipal Courthouse on my right hand side. Then we got pedestrians crossing the street that just came out of the courthouse. We're at First Street and Lewis Ave. We just got back from Nevada, Las Vegas downtown, picked up some food. We found a plant-based restaurant. It was an actual drive-through fast food joint. But check it out, come a little closer. Chicken wrap, check it out with crispy chicken. It has honey mustard sauce in it. Then we got a little bacon cheeseburger over here check it out plant-based bacon cheeseburger and over here we have some buffalo sticks with some ranch sauce and look at plant-based y'all see that yeah this food looking slamming las vegas nevada take a little dip and dip that in there at least so y'all can see that get dipped show y'all what this look like got homie over there eating Tastes flavorful. These fake wings definitely do taste flavorful. Whatever that sauce is, it's kicking. It is a giant piece of lettuce. Let's take this little wrap. A little wrap right here. Let's dip this inside. The ranch sauce. Get it right, huh? How's the burger taste? Awesome. Look how legit they got this thing looking right here. Look at that. The pickles, the onions, the tomatoes. They got the little bacon. Look at that. Plant-based bacon. It's gonna taste straight up like a regular bacon cheeseburger. In life, you can never be afraid to walk alone. Sometimes you gotta walk away from the crowd and do your own thing. At the end of the day, it's you versus you. We're about to depart Las Vegas. We just parked up at the scenic view over here in Nevada. We're leaving Las Vegas. We're about to head over to Arizona. We might as well park up, take a look at this scenic view and see how epic it looks. Got the RV parked up. Check this out. Little Hoover Dam educational display. We have the structure right here. And then over here is where the scenic overlook is at. Buddy over there making paintings. Look at her, what she thinks she rocky running up these steps. Desert wildlife, the Colorado River. Oh, here. Right next to the Hoover Dam. Run, Forrest, run. Lake Mead Reservoir. And this is the scenic overlook, guys. You got Jersey in the passenger side and Philly driving. And <laughs> they over there like, they over there like, what y'all doing? Look at her head. <laughs> Look at her head. She's just sticking out looking like, why y'all take so long? I'm telling you. We got three more hours until we get to Phoenix, Arizona. We parked up, I figured do a little rest stop, get some food, made some little plant-based dinosaur nuggets. Got some honey mustard, some ketchup, some sour pepper, and we good to go.
our first morning over here in Phoenix, Arizona. We're gonna be doing some driving tours, do a walk a tour of downtown Phoenix just to see what it looked like. It doesn't look like there's a lot of high rise buildings in the Phoenix area. I see a lot of cactus though. The cactus are neat. Cactus are probably like the coolest part. We got Omi, we got Philly, we got Jersey over there being antisocial. Jersey, Jersey! Are you part of the antisocial social club? Because <laughs> if you are, then we and that joint together. You hear me? over some tracks on 5th Street, so we're gonna drive slowly. My gosh, the palm tree is beautiful. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. We got Her Burger Theater Center on my right-hand side. Child's Play Theater, Center Dance, Arizona Theater Company, Broadway Theater, and more. We're at Van Buren, the 300 block of Van Buren. We all get a chance to see the stadium right here in front of us. There's a giant set of boots up there coming out of the billboard. That's like a 3D display. Dog gone happy at 7,000 feet. Cornish Pasty Company on my left-hand side, next to the downtown Delhi. Tavern. On our right, that hotel, that San Carlos hotel, it looks vintage. If you look at the awnings upstairs on like the fourth floor, you see like a burgundy awning with like a little uh, balcony where you can stand at. I don't even think those things are used anymore. Check out that church. You see the details put into that building? That's the State 48 Brewery, Crafts, Beer, and Provisions Company. Amco Transmissions in front of us. We're at 4th and Van Buren Street. You can see the detail right over the bridge when you cross this bridge. You see the burgundy poles, the lamps. You see the style of the lantern. It's like an upside down pyramid. You see this mirror over here on my left really nice yo that's funny as ever awesome epic beautiful mural welcome to city of mesa we have an automotive service center on my right hand side across the street the crosswalk brickwork goes a lot farther than the crosswalk here it actually goes into the middle of the street and you got their valley metro bus you see the purple bus that just rolled by the mesa public library on my left hand side mesa city plaza on our left we got what looks to be like a train station right here on the left that's called the idea museum that's a cool concept you at the Mesa Urban Garden located at 212 East First Ave. We don't know each other, but we need each other. La Morena. Wow, that was an awesome mural. And hey, look at all these cactus. Look at this. Wow, that is cool. Wow, look at this gigantic cactus. Y'all see that big old cactus right there? Cheese! Say cheese, cactus. Cheese! Say, you know, cactus is like, get away from me, you human. Look how it looks with all the palm trees. Doesn't it look neat? I love the way palm trees make a road look. They got benches, they got patio tables, picnic tables, little play set for the kids. The statue on my right hand side shows a guy with a shovel. That thing is a beast. A Camaro. Wow. Somebody got a DeLorean over here. Look at that. That's from the movie Back to the Future. They tripping with that one. Yo. They got the Deluxo from GTA. Look at that right there. Guys, the license plate reads Wing It. Yo, that's fire. They got a Deluxo, baby. Or in this case, a DeLorean. That is so cool. So we're out of Arizona. We're on our way to Brawley, California. Brawley, California is about three and a half hours away from here, but it's about an hour away from where we gotta go. We got a four and a half hour drive, Cali, to hit San Diego. But we're gonna stop at Brawley. Out of Arizona, y'all. We're about to see the desert. I believe the Sonoran Desert is on the way out. So we're gonna exit the west side of Arizona. I'm looking forward to seeing the views. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. Cause you try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray As you fade away, yeah, yeah, yeah Dirt life, dirt life So now y'all wanna know why my hands are dirty? We stuck on the side of the road, yup Had to separate the trailer, the small car over there, the small car was stuck You know, this is the last thing that's stuck We tried digging it out, and both sides, it's super Stuff. We was here for like an hour, hour and a half. So called a tow truck and yeah, we got a tow truck to come out. Hopefully they'll be able to come with a winch. We had the tow truck guy behind us. He's helping us winch it out. Take a look. Let's see if we can get this bad boy out. Now, I know what you might be thinking, like, yo, Toon, how did you get yourself in there in the first place? Well, this was going to be a camping location. We were going to stay here overnight. But long story short, we got stuck in the sand, as you can see. Yo, the 
Toe guy just looked out. Toe guy came in clutch. He moved it. Yeah, he pulled it out with the winch. He even helped us with the little trailer. So I gave him a little tip for helping and assisting. The toe and the winch was actually covered in insurance. It's full coverage. He pulled the trailer physically, so I figured help him out a little bit, you know?